You may have seen them in and around the downtown core, little robots that deliver food in the area, but they could soon be pulled off the streets. Lisa Shing explains why. They're small and pink, making food deliveries around downtown Toronto. But people living with disabilities say robots like Jeffrey are a hazard. There's the risk that they will collide with us. There's the risk that they can become a tripping hazard for people with disabilities. Take this instance. One of the robots tipped over near Young and Dundas Square that could be an obstacle. So to avoid these situations, the city's accessibility committee has recommended these micro-utility devices be banned and opt out of a provincial pilot allowing remote-controlled vehicles on sidewalks. We don't need to be the early adapters here. Let them, uh, somebody else, sort it out. Uh, but for now, what we need to do is focus on pedestrian safety and prioritize public safety. But the creator of Jeffrey says the robot has sensors and its fleet of 20 haven't been in any collisions yet. And he also says they could eventually reduce congestion and pollutions because they could replace cars. The robot is uh, basically weighs as much as a toddler and it moves at the walking speed. And it also have a great collision avoidance systems. He also says these robots are the way of the future and the city should embrace that. I think it's also a static study for entrepreneurship because we have, uh, we have an environmental crisis and, and we need to uh, empower entrepreneurship. We need to try to find solutions. Council will vote on whether to ban these robots December 15th. Lisa Shing, CBC News, Toronto.